as you can see by the title of this video, I'm doing the 21 outfits for 2021 that Emma Chamberlain did. I simply could not resist it. I saw hers. Another YouTuber that I watch, Chris Clemens, did it. And so I just have to do it. I can't wait to play around in my closet and put some outfits together. And I hope that you guys enjoy this and maybe get some inspiration from it. I have some positive energy tea here because both of them that I mentioned um, said that they were struggling about halfway through it. So I'm a little nervous, but um, I'm also very excited. So quick disclaimer, Cade's playing video games with his friends. So if you hear that, that's what that is. <laughs> so anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So off we go. Okay, so outfit number one, it is this. Um, I need to show off my shoes a little bit. I think these are probably the favorite pair of Vans I've ever had. And I've had a lot of pairs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just wearing these gray trousers that I got from Goodwill. They're um, a true staple in my wardrobe these days because I work in an office and they are trousers, but they feel like yoga pants. So they're very comfortable. I wear them a lot. Um, this shirt I also got at Goodwill, of course. And then I really like the whole over the shoulder trend. So I've actually worn this outfit once and I just tied the sweatshirt around my shoulders. So here's outfit one. Let's Move on to number two. Okay, we're back with number two. So this is another comfortable outfit. I would totally wear this outfit to go to Goodwill or thrift store or something like that. Just a very casual like Saturday running errands type of look. Um, I have on a pair of yoga pants, not flared leggings. Okay, come on people. I have a uh, this fanny pack that I got at Goodwill. I got this sweatshirt at Goodwill. And then I have on my most favorite new pair of shoes. These are like <laughs> the best shoes I've ever purchased, I think. They're really comfortable. They're so hard to get on, but totally worth it. They're so cute. So this is outfit number two. And I'm having a lot of fun so far, but we're only two in. So I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Okay, so here is outfit number three, and I'm loving this look. I've actually not worn this blazer yet because I just got it, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or something. Um, so yeah, I haven't worn it yet, but I really like it with this blue shirt. I'm all about wearing black and blue together and black and brown together and just mixing all the colors i just don't i just don't care and i think they look good together so here's black and blue um but yeah i'm wearing goodwill 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 these are from zara um quick tip for anybody out there who has a pair of shoes that kind of don't fit that great get insoles i got these memory foam insoles and now these loafers fit me perfectly so if you need you know, a little help getting your shoes to fit, try some insoles. It really worked. But yeah, so black and blue together. We've got like an interesting texture with an interesting texture with the silk and then this like speckled texture material. And I love the piping on this. Really makes it look unique, I think. Um, and I did change my earrings. I put on the safety pin earrings that my sister got me. Thanks, Eden. And um, yeah, so that completes outfit number three. This is more of a work look, obviously. Um, I would totally wear this to work, it's so cute. And comfortable. So yay, three done. Okay, so here is outfit number four. Um, I'm not like 100% about this one, but I'm like, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Ever since um, I made the styling blazers video with zoe at washington street outfitters i've been dying to tuck jeans into these boots again um and so here we are um these jeans are a lot easier to tuck in 
the other pair that I had were like Slayer boot cut and it was really <laughs> really hard to tuck them in but these ones are a lot easier so I have them tucked into these boots I have this really cute new sweater that I just got that has this really awesome neck on it um, it's from shop essence shop essential society sheesh um, I found them on Instagram so yeah and then obviously since it's been freezing in Ohio um, I would definitely wear this coat with it so let's add the coat here's outfit number four okay here's outfit number five so I'm very excited about this shirt I just bought this yesterday morning actually at Goodwill of course um Eden my sister told me that she gets a lot of her like really great cropped t-shirts in the kids section and I was like wow that is smart so I checked in the kids section and I found this shirt and it says gotta be jazz and if you didn't know this about me I love jazz music so I was very excited about this and then we have this lovely green sweater also from Goodwill and I love this color green I think I have like five of these sweaters I just have no self-control but I mean look at the buttons they're just so good and then I have on a pair of Levi's um, with the little slit and then white sneakers and I was literally so against getting Air Force Ones for the longest time I don't know why I'm really sorry if you just heard Kate's burp <laughs> Um, anyway, I was really against getting, um, Air Force One for the longest time, but then once I finally got them, I was, like, so happy that I did. I honestly wear them a lot, and they're just the perfect, like, all-white sneaker. I hate to say it, but they're basic for a reason, because they're pretty great. So, so anyways, here's outfit five. Let's move on. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. Look at this. I mean, this might be the best one that I own now. Okay, here is outfit number six. Um, I'm just gonna dress in this. This freaking sweater. This sweater is easily my most prized possession. I got it at Goodwill when we were in Arizona. It is so soft. And my grandma told me that if I would have gotten this at a department store back in the day, it would have been very expensive. So getting it for like $13 was just the steal of the century. So I love this sweater. And I wanted to do, um, you know, kind of a monochromatic look. So we're wearing these white jeans that I got from Morgan Lee Thrifts. And they just fit me so perfectly. I love these pants. I wear them so much um i haven't even had them that long i think i've worn them like six times um and then this bag i got from thread up and then these are my newest pair of shoes they're from steve madden and you know like i said i work in an office so i had to get some heeled loafers so yeah i'm obsessed with these shoes they're so cute so yeah outfit number six yeah, so this is outfit number seven. Um, I don't know. I just saw a picture on Instagram with like a button down with the half tuck and the jean shorts with knee high boots. And I thought it was so cute. So I bought this shirt at Goodwill specifically for this outfit idea. And I think it looks really cute. Okay, outfit number eight. So obviously, if you know me at all literally could not make this video without doing an all denim look because I love a Canadian tuxedo so I went like crazy <laughs> this time and we have on jeans and jeans and more jeans so you know full-blown tuxedo here so Levi's from Levi's this is Goodwill this is Thread Up and and I just love denim on denim on denim. If I like don't know what to wear one day, it's gonna be denim on denim on denim. 
So, yeah. I mean, it's just so effortless. You look so badass. And, yeah. I mean, so cool. And then I'm just wearing my docks to add to the badassness of it. So, yeah. Outfit number eight. Okay, so this is outfit eight, I think. I'm keeping a tally, but I don't remember if I put a tally for the last outfit. So, I don't know. This is either eight or nine. Here's an outfit. It's either eight or nine. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, we're working with some black velvet pants. I love these pants. These are from Thread Up. They just make every outfit cooler. And then we have this amazing polo jeans waffle shirt that I got at Goodwill and then I have on my black boots that I literally wear every day yeah I wear them every day just they're the most comfortable best money I've ever spent on a pair of boots honestly and then I thought this outfit is screaming for a leather jacket just to be that much more badass and chic so, and then hold on, my purse. So yeah, this one, I'm, I really, really love this one. I mean, this shirt by itself is just like amazing, but then when you mix it with the velvet and the leather and the leather and the leather, it's so good. So yeah, here's outfit eight or nine. I don't remember. Okay, so it turns out the last outfit was outfit nine. <laughs> so this is 10. Um, this dress is definitely my best purchase of 2020. Um, I, I'm just obsessed with it and I feel like I'll have it for many, 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 many years to come. It's a very classic silhouette with the bodycon, with the ruching on the sides. It gives it that little something, something. Um, so this is what I would call like a fancier dinner look or something like that. Um, I'm wearing these boots again because I love them. Um, and then the dress, Goodwill blazer. Um, and then I would carry this little bag for, you know, so something a little fancier with all the beading. And then also, probably clip my hair up. So you know, give it a little twist. Hopefully that looks okay. <laughs> but yeah, hair up for a little bit more class vibes, you know. Here is outfit number 10. All right, let's go in the complete opposite direction, shall we? It's a very casual sweatsuit look. Was really hard to say for some reason so anyway like i said completely opposite direction i would not normally wear a hat my bangs are down these are in my eyes yes yeah, so we've got baseball cap on i literally got this in middle school um anyway and then joggers sweatshirt nice warm long sleeve and matching navy sneakers this is 11 I would totally wear it with this on. Also, not just tied around my waist. This is not a sweatsuit I bought together. I don't even know if you can tell how different of navy blue they are. But these are just from Walmart and then this is from a trip, so. But yeah, but yes. So here is outfit number 11 and move on to 12. We're like definitely past the halfway point now, so. I'm feeling sweaty, but, um, oh, okay, here we are with outfit number 12. I don't know why I've never thought to wear one of my sweater vests as a shirt, um, but this looks really cute, I think. We're wearing some navy trousers, also from Goodwill. My shoes, I'm, like, these are just so cute. They're from ThreadUp, and 
I think they go with this outfit perfectly. And then I had to grab my trench too, just because I love how it looks with the little belts on these shoes. So it feels kind of weird wearing this trench coat without like sleeves. But um, yeah, this, I mean, I feel powerful right now. I feel like I need a leather briefcase or something. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is a good one. Okay. Ugh. All right. Outfit 12. There you go. Okay. This is outfit 13, and I think the number 13 is fitting, because I think this outfit is a little spooky. <laughs> I think this one's a little crazy, but I like it, actually. Um, so, I don't know. You know, that's all that matters. Wear what you like, so... This is outfit 13. This vest, I got at Goodwill. I just literally couldn't pass up. It's homemade, for sure. Um, I just thought the checker print was so dope. The long flap in the back, so cool. Um, I don't know why, I just felt like it needed to go with the sweatshirt. And then, like, some of the shoe matches, so I just, I don't even know. This outfit is probably the weirdest one, but like I said, great for number 13. So here it is, outfit 13. I kind of feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit, so, but again, I just kind of like it. I think it's weird, but I kind of like it, so we're going for it. Here is outfit 14, I hope. I think I counted correctly. <laughs> Actually, yes. So, this is a very Friday work look for me because I can wear jeans to work on Fridays, so business casual. Um, you know, jeans, turtleneck, blazer, loafers, and I kept socks on with them because one, it's cold, and two, it just kind of, I think, adds to like the little, like, smarty pants look, I guess. Um, and then I love these thick headbands that I have. Um, I have them in, it's like a set from Amazon. It's like five colors and I wear them when I really want to like complete an outfit. Um, so yes, this is like my Friday business casual look and that's outfit 14. Okay, this is outfit 15 and it's giving me very 90s vibes v-neck jeans heeled loafers i guess maybe early 2000s i don't know but i grabbed these shades too because these are very 90s early 2000s and i felt like this needed just one more accessory to it um but yeah i am obsessed with this sweater i got it from flaming youth um I've been wanting something Lacoste for a long time, and I just couldn't really find it at Goodwill, but Shiloh had this one for me. She hooked me up, so yes, here is my very 90s, early 2000s. I need some, like, Britney or something playing in the background, you know? Let's keep moving. I think I've said that every time. Okay, outfit... 16. I love, I love this outfit. I cannot wait to wear this somewhere. I'm wearing these tan, like, cream-colored corduroy pants from Urban Outfitters. My 77 blazers again. Black purse, because like I said, I'm not scared to wear black and brown together. And it ties the shoes to the outfit, I think. And then this shirt, I got at Goodwill running theme here my most of my wardrobe is these days um and I it's got nice like knit sleeves and like a suede body and it also has a collar um I don't really know if this was worn as a shirt originally but I'm gonna wear it as one um I think this looks so cute like this is what I'm saying with this video like one of the most sustainable things that you can do is wear clothes that you already have and so Doing this video has been so fun for me because I'm just like trying a bunch of stuff on with things that I probably wouldn't have worn it with. And like this outfit is so cute. So yeah. I'm not saying go ahead and put like 21 outfits together because honestly this is kind of exhausting but 
I mean, this is so cute. So yes, here is 16. Oh my gosh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, five left. Just five more. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And then I'm gonna go eat some chicken wings and watch the Super Bowl. So let's keep moving. 17, here we come. Okay, so here is outfit 17. This is a very basic outfit, but um, a combo I've never done before. So I thought it was cute. I like the blue with the red with the green. Um, and then I just wore black loafers because they're comfortable. And this is definitely something I would wear like out to run errands or go thrifting or something. So, okay, so here's outfit 17. Okay, outfit 18. If I got to go down to Athens and be a college student again, this is what my next going out outfit would be. I just feel like I need to go to like J-Bar or Stevens and just drink some vodka crayons or something, white claws, I don't know, and wear this and dance all night. So, outfit 18. Done. Okay. Okay, here's outfit 19. I'm wearing sandals again, so obviously this one would be more of a summer work look or like late summer early fall um i'm wearing black and brown again guys i just i just don't i think they look good together i think it works if you match your bag to your shoes it's really all that matters so yeah i'm wearing these black sandals very 90s these brown these lovely chocolate brown trousers that i got from goodwill and then this amazing shirt obviously goodwill this whole outfit's goodwill actually I just realized so fully thrifted look but yeah this shirt is amazing it has this lovely tie in the back so it really cinches in the waist and just I think looks so feminine but also very like menswear I'm getting really tired but it's okay because we only have two outfits left because this is 19 so yay okay outfit 19 Outfit 20, here we come. <sighs> okay, I have no idea where this <laughs> idea just came from, but I think this is gonna look pretty sweet. So, dark jeans, this really cool um, Nike long sleeve that I got. Um, I actually don't think this was in the little boy section, but it's very like little boy vibes, <laughs> I would say. Um, but I don't know why, I just thought it would look so cute with this red blazer. So we're going for it. So, yeah, I mean, does it look cute? Yeah, okay. I don't know what it is. I think this looks dope. So, anyway, well, I just found out this doesn't have pockets. But yeah, so here's outfit 20. I think this looks pretty slick. Or maybe I'm just getting tired. I don't know. Okay, last one. Okay, last but not least, outfit 21. And I went very, um, Parisian. I got this silk, like, obviously it was a pajama dress at Goodwill. And I'm wearing a beret that I also got at Goodwill with my peeled loafers and then we can always we can always throw a trench on I mean this is <laughs> this is adorable so yay this is the last outfit this was so fun but I'm so glad I'm done <laughs> you should see the amount of clothes that is behind the camera right now yikes okay well there is outfit 21 <sighs> okay I don't even know, I can't find the shirt I had on before I started this under the mountain. <laughs> the mountain of clothes I have to clean up now, but this was seriously so fun. Like I said earlier, um, it's really good to wear clothes that you already have. So I highly encourage 
you experimenting. I really truly like had a blast. That was so fun putting outfits together. So I'm glad I'm done. I'm gonna go eat some nachos and cheese and chicken wings now because I deserve it. And well, I have to clean up this now. I don't know clothes first, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some inspiration from the outfits in this video. And yeah, that's it. Oh. I mean, this is, you can't even really, well, there you go. Yep. <laughs>